Pick up the noodle. You pick up the noodle. You dropped it. I've got to go. Whoa. Whoa. Check it out. We went to an Italian place called Buca de Peppo. I don't know if this is. I don't oh, know how many locations they have. What is it? It's called Buca de Peppo. Exactly. So it's another Italian place, and this place is more, I want to say, geared towards like big family gatherings. Um. I grew up eating here and because we have a huge family and the portion sizes are huge. So we ended up going here. Uh, I'm so hungry! I know. Let's get right into it. Let me undo this. Oh, let's do a snap to un undo all the boxes. Ready? And... All right. Check this out. I'll make oh, mine. before we do that, let me show them everything. So this is what we got. Here we go. Jordan got the kids meal mac and cheese. That's actually kind of a lot of mac and cheese. This is their world-famous meatball. I bet, I bet mm -hmm. I could only eat half of it. Maybe. This is their world-famous meatball with spaghetti. This is the baked ziti. And this is their parmesan. All right, so we're going to give this a try. Look at all. Do you guys see that? Can you guys see them? Maybe if they're like that, but I don't want it to tilt too much. Let me see if I can tilt it a little bit more. That's a little bit better. All right, check these out. These look so delicious. Okay, go ahead and mix it up. While Jordan's do that, Jordan has okay, fruit so punch. There's cheese on the bottom. Oh yeah, there's a lot of ooey gooey cheese on the bottom. Jordan has fruit punch, and I'm gonna do a f adult fruit punch. There's no sound. Yeah, there's no sound to this one. It just looks really good. Oh yeah, nom, that's nom, super nom. red. Oh, itakimasu, chamokusunda. Oh, here, cheers. Look at how red this one is. And look how red this is. Cheers. Cheers. Now it's way darker. Though. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cheers. Mmm. I bet that doesn't have any caffeine. Yeah, it doesn't have any caffeine. Okay, I'm going to first try their meatball, because apparently they call it the world famous meatball. I don't know how world famous this is, but we'll give it a try. Wait a second, before you eat the noodles, you gotta mix up all of it. Mmm. I actually tried the meatball just by itself. That's a pretty good meatball. That's a good the meatball. Okay, now let's try the spaghetti. I honestly, even Crutch Mom was like, why are you ordering spaghetti? It says world famous meatball and spaghetti. So I'm like, okay, I gotta give it a try. You gotta order it because you gotta order it. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Okay, you know what? Honestly, not bad. A little on the bland side, I would say. Um, mm, honestly, not bad. Spaghetti meatball, like I said, I feel like I can make it myself at home. Would I order this? No, not really. Alright, let's try this. This is the baked ziti. There's, I'm assuming that is um, ricotta. There's ricotta mm. cheese on there. Let's give this a try. Mmm. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, this baked ziti has way more flavor. This thing is flavored ziti. Well, that big ziti is delicious. Watch what I did. How's your mac and cheese? Watch this. While he's gone, I'm going to eat all his mac and cheese. No. Because he's going to be gone for a long time. All right, check out this mac and cheese. It's got the long macaroni noodles. But let's give it a try. Oh, honestly, it's a very light mac and cheese. Hey, but look at this guy. Well, yeah, but the noodles are really al dente, which is kind of cool. Mmm, that's actually not bad. I still think this is the best by far. But let's try this one. This is mac and cheese is my favorite. Oh, this is parmesan. Let me give this a try. Oh, 
try this Parmesan. Mmm. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. Try the Parmesan. Oh, with a little bit of sauce. How's that? Pretty good, huh? It, how is it pretty good? Pretty good. This is pretty good, huh? Which you better? Can find where I dropped that noodle. Oh. I already picked it up. This is pretty good, huh? Try. One more bite. How was that? Mm. Out of ten, what would you rank it? Seven out of ten. Seven out of ten? Whoa. That's eggplant. Hmm? This is eggplant parmesan. Pretty good, huh? Then I'll make that a five out of ten. What? No way. That was pretty good, though. Before you knew what it was, you tried it, and it was pretty good, huh? Pretty good. Actually, I changed my mind. Mm -hmm. I put it back to six. Back to six? You never said six. You said seven. Oh, yeah, back to seven. Mmm. Try this. Okay, try the extra crispy side on the outside with a little bit of sauce and a little bit of noodles. Yum, 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 How yum, you're supposed yum, yum. to try it. Try it out. Always try new items that we got at least once. Here we go. Ready? Noodles with eggplant parmesan. Ten out, of ten. ten out of ten. Wow, so it's it's pretty good with the crispiness, huh? Yeah, this eggplant parmesan is actually pretty good. I would give this so far as one of the better eggplant parmesans I've had. The eggplant is really flavorful. If it was a uh huh. Ooh. Fifteen out of if it mm. was a fifteen out of zero. Mm hmm. I would have changed it. Mm hmm. If I and if I tried that one, uh -huh. I would have changed it for a fifteen out of fifteen. Wow. Whoa. Honestly, this eggplant parmesan is okay. This actually might be better than. <clears throat> yeah, this might be better than the the baked ziti. The this baked is ziti better is, than the mac and cheese. You like it better than the mac? Here, have another bite then. Wow. You liked it better than mac and cheese. You know what? It has more flavor than the mac and cheese. Yeah. That's for sure. Because this, uh -huh. it, each bite has like, has like first it, uh -huh. one tastes like cheese, and then the second one is like regular pasta. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Mm but what about this one? Mm. But this is better than that one. But it's eggplant. Mmm. Mm. Yeah. No joke, this this eggplant parmesan is actually pretty good. Like the crust on it and the outside plus the sauce and the spaghetti. Did, did I just pick it up right here? Yeah, you did. Good catch. And one like this? Mm. Mm hmm Not bad. Honestly, pretty this is pretty good. Mmm. Okay. If you're gonna get a dish. At Bugo de Pepo, eggplant parm. Eggplant parm are the way. <clears throat> Unless you want something a little bit creamy, get this, which is the um, baked ziti. Daddy? Yes. A what? Mmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. First off, all the dishes, the noodles are baked perfectly or cooked perfectly mm-hmm mm. all of it is al dente I love it it's perfect the spaghetti meatball needs a little help maybe a little salt I would say the baked ziti is actually really good I like this mm-hmm Tons of flavor, but this eggplant parm. Okay, now we're now we're talking about a dish. This 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 thing is good. You want another bite? No. Okay, I'll eat it. Ooh, this is good. Now this mac and cheese has flavor. Mmm. Oh, I don't think you're supposed to slurp spaghetti. 
only serve noodles that uh -huh. have soup. Oh, good call, good call. Sometimes, mm, sometimes when you go to Italian restaurants, their tomato sauce, their tomato sauce is super watery, so it has some soup. This, not the case. It's a pretty dry pasta sauce. Pasta sauce. Pasta sauce. It's good. You want to try some of this? But pizza sauce? Uh-huh. Oh, that is watery. Not really. Yeah, but it still is a little watery. Oh, goodness. You want to try some of this big ziti? I tried it. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Flavor-wise, I think this um, I big ziti. I tried this one. I tried this one. I tried this mm -hmm. one. I mm -hmm. The baked ziti for sure has, at least in their sauce, maybe it's because of the cream. It's creamy, tomatoey, herbs, spices. It's salted well. I like it. But this eggplant parm, wow. I was not expecting that. I only ordered it because a lot of people on our, um, on our video where we ate from Olive Garden was talking about eggplant parmesan. So I ordered it. All the noodles are al dente, even on takeout. So we got this as takeout. Mad props to Buco de Pepo for having really good pasta. They made their pasta pretty solid. I mean, you're talking about a pretty well-cooked pasta. I, I enjoy all of these dishes. Mmm. Mmm. And it has that perfect al dente to it. Oh wow, you're you're gonna finish that whole thing. Yep, because I am. Wow. Is it delicious? Mmm. No joke, not bad. Olive Garden or Buca de Pepo? What do you think? Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow. Yeah, Olive Garden mm. or Buca de Pepo. Mm-hmm. Mm. Which one? Oh, that's good. Mm. Never mind. What would you say? Buca de Peppo. Oh, yeah, me too. Mmm. <clears throat> For chain restaurant quality, this you can't beat it. If you have a big massive family, go to Buca de Peppo. Honestly, it's. And if you're a uh, big. It's better and than. And if oh. you're a big noodle fan. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he likes the mac and cheese. It's honestly way better than Olive Garden, in my opinion. Um, pretty good. Pretty good. The noodles are cooked well. The sauces are good. Mmm. Yeah. If you're choosing a corporate company or a big chain company, not your mom and pop. I always feel mom and pop are better. But if you're picking a big company, Buca de Pepo. Go for it. Better than me. Yeah, because McDonald's doesn't have pasta. Yeah. At least in the States. I think in other parts of the country they might. But, or yeah, in different countries it might, but not in the States. Did you know what? What, what? In Japan? Mm hmm In Japan? Mm hmm Actually, I should have done Uh-huh, yeah. But look, at, he almost ate all of his mac and cheese. Check that out. There's only like four noodles left. Wow. All right. Let's say goodbye. That's way more than four. That's true. It's like six noodles. All right. Let's say goodbye. Are you ready? Mmm. That's, that's really good, actually. Not bad. Needs a little salt. Needs a little salt, I think. Yeah, not bad. Okay, are you ready? Okay. Oh. You guys are curious what I'm drinking. That's what Mac I'm drinking. No, if I'm you guys are curious, that's what I'm drinking. Oh, nice. Look at this. He ate all of it. I mean, granted it was a kid's size, but it had way more than what I thought it would for a kid's Nom, nom. Portion. How was it? Wow. All right, guys. Thanks, Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.
What? Hey, they what? forgot the apple juice. Oh, you're right. We did order with apple juice. And I forgot what else comes with the kids' menu. All right, well, anyways. So. Yeah? When we go pick up stuff. Uh-huh. And then we do it right here. Uh-huh. Yep. They forget something. Yeah, they do. They do. But. Uh-huh. When we have to wait at the doorbell. Okay. They don't. Oh. Okay. But. Are you ready to say goodbye? Fast food places, even if I, we order both ways, they always forget one. Yeah, you're right. And the yep. last time we went to Sonic and they forgot the bacon. You're right, you're right. So many problems. I know. Maybe we should stop eating fast food. Yeah. It's... Too many problems. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Crunch Bros. Ah! We forgot to do a word of the day. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.